Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's Up With That, the show that brings you interesting people, places, cultures, and subcultures here in the South Bay, the San Francisco Bay Area, the state of California, and beyond. And tonight, what's up with Tai Chi? What is Tai Chi? And what can we benefit from learning and practicing Tai Chi? Well, you may not have seen it, but I have, and it seems to me that America is going crazy over Tai Chi. In studios, you see it on television, and for me personally, I see it at 9 o'clock in the morning at Memorial Park. And it's really cool. People seem to be coming together, and everybody seems to be, well, pretty peaceful with it. Well, tonight we're going to learn about Tai Chi, one of the martial arts, and joining me here are two uh, well-known practitioners of martial arts. We have Master Wen Peng. Welcome. Nice How are you? you? And Shaolin. Shaolin, welcome to What's Up With That. Thank you. So how are you doing? We're going to start off Good. with the first question. What is the basic philosophy of Tai Chi? He said Tai Chi is the basic philosophy of Tai Chi. What is the So Tai Chi is a physical expression of a philosophy. Okay. And the philosophy is. He said, "What is the philosophy?" He said, "One is, uh, Tai Chi is not unlike martial arts. Unlike other martial arts, other martial arts are just fighting. Tai Chi uses the body to express a philosophy, which is a philosophy of the body, the philosophy of the human being. In Chinese, it can be used to use military force, the biggest force in the military, a war, with a hundred thousand people. It can be used to express the philosophy of the human being. It can be used to express the philosophy of the human being. It can be used to express the philosophy of the human being. It can be used to express the philosophy of the human being. It can be used to express the philosophy of the human being. It can be used to express the philosophy of the human being. It's a physical form of a philosophy, and it's a philosophy that encompasses, you know, um, thinking about the entire universe and the mm -hmm. interconnection of all things. Um, it's also a philosophy that teaches you how to live as a moral person. Okay. Um, it also encompasses uh, strategy mm -hmm. in terms of combat, as both a personal level as well as on like a large scale, say, in warfare. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Tai Chi is very much about. Uh, Using a minimal amount of energy to create the maximum effect. Okay. Um, so, in terms of in our, our personal practices, um, when we when we are deflecting attacks, for instance, we actually don't ever go out to attack a person. Right. We only. I hope not. Right. We we, we never want <laughs> yeah, to do that. Okay. But but if somebody comes to attack us, as you will see in some of the demonstrations, mm -hmm. um, we take that you, you take that energy and you just redirect it against that person. Mm -hmm. So it's very much about um, changing. It's about okay. change. It's about. Uh, when you talk about that interconnectedness of the world, mm -hmm. I think that's important. What do you mean exactly by that? Um, just that all like all things are interconnected in some way. They f impact each other. Mm -hmm. um, on a very personal level, in terms of the physical practice of Tai Chi, we're talking about um, the interconnection of your body. So mm -hmm. your breath, which we also call Qi, and your okay. energy. The Qi encompasses both breath and energy. Um, it's a, a vital part of your, your body. Um, and also from it comes strength. Okay. And so when we're practicing, we want to focus on that, but primarily want to focus on the movements of the entire body as well. Um, so when we're practicing, we think about how each movement affects another. And okay. when you're in combat, we have to think about the way their body is mm -hmm. working and how we can disrupt that flow, for instance, in order to uh, disable the opponent. It's a lot of concentration, a lot of <clears throat> really just thinking about are you in your own world? Are you like, you know what I'm saying? Are you? He said, "Learn Tai Chi 的时候，因为我们必须非常的专心，是不是？是不是？好像在自己的世界里。” Yes， 就忘我是中国字有一句话叫“忘我”，忘记自己，就和人和大自然的结合。我们中国一句话叫“天地人三才合一”，就是人和自然。Okay. Um, yes, in a sense, uh, when you really have achieved a certain level of Tai Chi, you actually forget about yourself, okay. and you f you you're able to then feel your connection with the world and the universe <laughs> at large. And there's actually a word, um, there's a phrase actually in Chinese that um, uh, heaven and earth and the man combined, and so. Achieving a high level of that philosophy is being able to feel all three, mm -hmm. and being able to um, express all three in your movements. Okay, so Tai Chi's been around for a long time. Uh, yeah, right? it's been around for about a th 600 years at least. Mm -hmm. So how, what is the history of Tai Chi? Uh, 他问说 Tai Chi 的历史是怎么来的？嗯，太极有一个传说
，中国一个道士叫张三丰。跟对。OK， 对，中国道士叫张三丰，就是距现在六百年，大概五百五十年左右，距现距今，没说时间。呃，这个人呢，他看到，据传说，他看到一个鹤和一条蛇 （snake） 来斗。就很优美的在做，他顿悟，但他本身是搞武术的，是一个大师，武术大师，他叫强悍，他世上的功夫呢，只能是用力量，强壮 strong， 强壮的打击弱小的，反过来都不行，就男人可以打女人，我们女人打男就不行，他就在想了一个道理，顿悟，他在深山里头，是没有人迹的地方，他明白一个道理，哦，就很柔软的东西，他看到老虎 tiger， 在捕食的时候很凶猛，但是他的爆发力只有十五秒。到二十秒 ，OK， 他发现这个 snake 和这个这个蛇和鹤斗了，呃，他一个，对对对，六个小时 ，Yeah，OK， 就六个小时没有疲劳。嗯哼，作为他发现哦，这个道理明白了，说太极是一个哲理，用身体来表达一个道理。中国人认为，只要道理在我这边，你再强大再强壮都不会赢的。你很瘦弱，只要你有真正的道理 ，OK， 最终胜利是自己的。Okay, so there is a legend.、Um, tai Chi history goes back about 600 years.、Um, I think exact dates are around 550 years ago.、Mm -hmm. But there was a Taoist priest named Zhang Sanfeng,、okay. who、um, he was a martial arts practitioner. Practitioner, and he was very good in his own right. But his martial arts was physical; it was based on strength. Right. So, for instance,、uh, if you were counter a larger opponent,、mm. the larger opponent would win because he had more strength.、Mm. And so, men could beat women; women could never、right. beat men.、Um, so he went deep into the mountains to reflect and meditate. And while he was there,、um, he encountered a tiger. Okay. And he saw he found that the tiger had a lot of strength, but its power was only effective for maybe fifteen to twenty seconds. It was a fast, you know, a quick strike,、yeah. right? A burst of power.、Mm -hmm. And then he encountered a snake and a crane battling each other.、Okay. And he watched these two fight for like six hours. And from and neither one of them seemed to tire. And from this, he developed a philosophy that you didn't need to use sheer strength、mm -hmm. to fight. That you could you could express this physically. Mm -hmm. And so, by using minimum of ener a minimal of energy, you can actually combat somebody、mm -hmm. who's far stronger. And so, as long as you had this philosophy, like if you understood、uh -huh. the philosophy for fully, when you went into combat or when you had to deflect an attack,、mm -hmm. then you could still win, even if your opponent was stronger than you、mm -hmm. are. So yeah, so we're going to、yeah. look at、uh, some of your、uh, students in action here at demonstration, and、okay. we will. I'll see some Tai Chi, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So let's check it out. Tai Chi. <laughs> You can see from the video clip was that you know there's some basic movements that they、mm -hmm. were doing. Why don't you explain to me what are some of the basic movements of Tai Chi and what they mean? Oh, 能不能解释一下我们基本的动作和它的意义 ？OK， 是练拳法是防身术的，对不对 ？OK， 这动作的完全自然，太极功夫 nature， 就是用自然的表达，是动作舒展，让人的经络、全身、后八里、全身打开。嗯哼，打开后使你整个内脏，从五脏 OK。把点五脏开始扩散到骚节，就手，安的安的分手，全身，让他气血畅通，使人身体得到健康，就好像是清理自己的身体，来自己自我，自己养护自己的身体，就好像是一部车，一部好的汽车，自己来保养自己。OK。Okay. So、um, Tai Chi is it's an entire body、okay. kind of martial art. So、um, 
the basic ideas behind the movement is to get the circulation in your body flowing everywhere. Okay. And so um, we focus a lot on breathing because that allows, um, the more oxygen you have in the bo your body, the more power you have, okay. um, you know, it's for yourselves to do various right. things. And so um, we practice an art that allows us to improve our bodies from our internal organs okay. and outward. And so um, you, you exercise like your joints and you exercise your body. And mm -hmm. so um, when you get everything flowing, like it, the, mm -hmm. the wellness kind of right. extends out to okay. the entire body. I mean, you see a lot of this kind of, what does that signify? Uh, so the movements are not just, we're not just doing it because right. it looks pretty. Um, mm -hmm. These movements are movements passed down through generations. Right. So we're the, tw he's the 12th generation practitioner of Zhao Bao Tai Chi. Okay. Um, which is what? Which, which uh, Zhao Bao is actually a place. Um, okay. There are about s six yeah. major yeah. branches of Tai Chi right now. There's mm -hmm. Yang style and Cheng style, um, which are the most commonly practiced ones. Probably mm -hmm. the one you see when you're at yeah. Memorial Park in the morning. <laughs> um, and ours is called Zhao Bao. And mm -hmm. it, has a hi it goes back 600 years, which is three times mm -hmm. the history of the United States. Mm -hmm. um, and so these movements are designed to help you improve your body, to improve your circulation, to improve your flexibility, and um, we, we carry on the tradition, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did you, you become interested in Tai Chi? Um, I actually used to see it in Kung Fu movies when I was a kid <laughs> with my dad. Um, I like the philosophy. I like yeah. it very much. It's, it's this idea of taking somebody else's energy and turning it against mm -hmm. them. Um, it's just, and it's deep, it's got a deeply embedded philosophy, yeah. which I really think can't be explained in a mere 30 minutes. Right. Um, but it's something well, it's that... it's a philosophy that's really not a common... A, common philosophy, I think, to Americans. Yeah, especially it's to a Western audience. Right. It's not it's something you come in contact with. The, the no. idea that you would be a passive aggressor yeah. is very strange, yeah. that you wouldn't attack anybody, but uh -huh. if anybody attacks you, you would floor them, as we yeah. saw in the demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so the different branches of the martial arts, and we have Tai Chi, you right. have, you know, it is a martial art. You know, when, when I look at martial arts, you mm -hmm. know, we look at the there's so many of them, you know, you have Kung Fu and you have Karate and you have right. Tai Chi. But yeah. when I look at Tai Chi, I see, and I was looking at some stuff on the internet, you have the yin and the yang. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is the significance of the yin and the yang? What does that mean? Tai Chi and yin yang is what relationship? Okay. Yin yang, Tai Chi is one thing. Tai Chi, one, okay, one thing. Yin yang is two, one is two. Yin yang is a change, in Tai Chi it's a change. Tai Chi's most important yin yang is a man. 阴，呃，男人是阳，女人是阴。OK，天是阳，地是阴，白天是阳，晚上是阴。就像动物，呃，公的是阳，母的是阴。花粉就是花一类的，雌雄分，给他讲。但在泉里边，阴阳是变化的
，太极靠变化来对付。所以雷子女女士可以对付男性，嗯、不是靠力量，嗯、靠变化。OK OK。Let me see if I can remember all of that. Okay,、um, you'll do it. I know you can. <laughs> tai Chi, actually, as an idea and a philosophy, was around some twenty three hundred years ago.、Mm -hmm. um, tai Chi applied to the martial arts is just a name they gave to it later on. But this、okay. idea that all things are one was a, is a very very ancient idea. The Chinese came upon it a long time ago.、Mm -hmm. um, like you know, night and day. There's twenty four hours in the whole day. Twelve、right. for the night and twelve for the day. Um, and one just turns naturally into the other, and so on on a societal level,、um, Tai Chi under like encompasses all of this idea.、Okay. Um, in terms of actual physical combat, what Tai Chi does is it uses change to redirect an opponent. It、mm -hmm. doesn't use strength to fight. It uses、mm -hmm. change to fight. So when somebody throws a punch at you, you step aside. It's、mm -hmm. the easiest way to avoid the blow, and、mm -hmm. in fact, what you can then do is you can take their energy and just propel them、mm -hmm. in another direction、right. of your choosing.、Okay. And so you're changing; you're always changing and manipulating your opponent's energy,、okay. and as well as your own. All right, we're going to look at some more Tai Chi that we saw earlier, and then、um, audience, you can see a bigger perspective of Tai Chi, and we'll talk about that when we come back. So stay tuned. <laughs> What we've seen 
um, in some of these video clips is that it appears to me that um, Tai Chi is very peaceful. Mm -hmm. That you know yeah. what we've seen is very peaceful movements. And you did mention that Tai Chi is also used uh, for self-defense. And um, I'd like you to explain some of the basic movements of, for self-defense in, in Tai Chi. So. Okay. Go ahead. Alright. 刚才抓手手的节奏法因为人在被抓住的时候很狼狈的这时候手的节奏他还靠着变化又没有靠力量刚才大家看到我用的很小一点力量我只用百分之一的力量就可以产生最大的威力就太极太极叫有一句话叫
improving your circulation, and okay. as I said before, and uh, improving your, your joint movements. Um, it's a very, very gentle exercise so mm. that it doesn't matter what age you are, anybody can pick it up at any time. Okay. So little kids can do it, adults like me can pick it up. Mm -hmm. um, if you're like 40 years old, you can still mm -hmm. learn it because it's very, very gentle. But what does it do for you spiritually? What's, what's the, the spiritual? It's what you find in it. Okay, so it's different for everybody? It would be different for everybody. So how big is Tai Chi in, let's say, in China? Oh. Um, what's, the, what's the government's position on Tai Chi? Because I know, you know, there's been... Yeah. I hate to bring politics in, but mm -hmm. it's, you know it, it's something that we you know hear about. So, mm -hmm. how does this work in in in? He said that Tai Chi in China is very wide. Yes. That the government has any thoughts about Tai Chi? The government is basically not concerned. 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 比如说你要踢球呀,膝盖就会痛,打网球呀,网球手会痛,太极是为什么要很slow,smooth,全身的都没有任何负重,对身体不造成伤害,男女老幼,哪怕刚做完手术就可以练太极,你刚做完手术不